In Maharashtra and Vidava, the Satavanas were succeeded by the Vakatakas, and were followed by the Chalakyas of Badami. The Chalakyas of Badami played a prominent role in the history of South India, for about 200 years from the beginning of the 6th century AD. The most powerful and famous king of the dynasty was Pulakishan II, who achieved many military successes and expanded most of the Deccan region in India. The most notable military achievement of Pulakishan was, his victory over the powerful northern emperor Harshavardhana of Pushyabhuti dynasty. Pulakishan was a son of the Chalukya king Kirtavarman I, and when he died, Pulakishan was too young, so his paternal uncle Mangalesha became the next king. Mangalesha initially ruled as a regent, but later decided to usurp the throne. Pulakishan went into exile, during which he formed a plan and subsequently defeated, and killed Mangalesha. After Mangalesha's death, Pulakishan faced opposition from multiple rivals. He successfully subjugated his enemies, and established the Chalukyas as the dominant power in Indian peninsula. He subjugated two rulers named Apayika and Govinda, who rebelled. Pulakishan followed the policy of divide and conquer, Govinda became his ally, and Sir Apayika was defeated. Pulakishan repulsed the first Arab invasion of India, it was undertaken to spread Islam to all corners of the world, by second caliph, Umar bin Aktab. He conquered the Banavasi Kardamabas, the Mauryas of Konkan, and took the island of Elephanta from the Mauryas of Konkan following a naval battle. The most famous military achievement of Pulakishan was, his victory over the most powerful emperor Harshavardhana, who ruled over most of North India. Harsha had marched from Kanauj with large force, unable to accept the existence of a great opponent in the south, and advanced up to the Narmada River. Harsha had been invincible till then, and had never lost a battle. Despite the numerical advantage, Harsha was defeated, and a treaty was signed between two kings. Harsha went back to his capital. The treaty signed was, the river Narmada became the boundary between Harsha's empire and the Pulakishan's empire. The Chinese pilgrim Xuanzang visited Pulakishan's kingdom in 641. He calls the Chalukya kingdom Moho Lacha, and confirms Pulakishan's success against Harsha. The Chalukyas and the Pallavas fought several battles without any results. Pulakishan again invaded the Pallavas, in the hope of restoring the Chalukyas treasure. However, the Pallavas were led by young Narsimhavarman, who went all the way to Badami, and met Pulakishan in the Chalukyan capital city. A fierce battle was fought, Narsimhavarman won and Pulakishan was killed in the battle. Narsimhavarman besieged the Chalukya capital Vartapi, and remained in control for 13 years. Pulakishan's son Vikramaditya I, was able to, to drive the Pallavas out of Badami, and restored the last glory of the Chalukyas. Pulakishan was the greatest ruler in the Chalukya dynasty, and one of the greatest ever kings in Indian chapters. Pulakishan was a Vaishnavite, on his inscriptions which calls him a Parama Bhagavata, a devotee of Vishnu, but he was tolerant to other faiths as well. The Chinese Buddhist pilgrim Xuanzang mentions that, there were over 100 Buddhist monasteries in his kingdom, over 5,000 monks both Mahayana and Hinayana lived in these monasteries. The Badami Chalukyas dynasty went into a decline, following the death of Pulakishan, and it marked the beginning of political struggle between the Pallavas and Chalukyas, that continued more than 100 years.